some time to put our phones down and to have full living wear I give you my heart. day to you wonderful masterpiece of this universe my name is Hyrene and welcome back to my youtube channel the virtual punso Kick. Hey, 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 hey. so what i'm going to do today which you might not care about but i'm sharing to you anyway is that i'm going to do an odd meal combo which is composed of the apple feather and the water Ooh. and lastly the avocado so we need some positivity that's why we need to do some detox well. we need to drain the negative energy away so what i did was i put three full caps of apple cider into my water and then i'm going to eat the avocado while talking to you guys so our topic for today is about how to stay positive <laughs> so now I'm going to share to you three ways on how to stay positive. How to contract the HPV, not the human papillomavirus, but the human positivity virus. <laughs> Have you noticed that when you talk to an extremely pessimistic person, your energy just drains out and you feel exhausted at the end of the day? So without any further ado, let's start with number one. <laughs> Put your phones away for a couple of hours. I know that it is quite hard to detach ourselves from our phones lately because it is one of the sources of our entertainment, but I'm not saying that social media platforms are bad. In fact, they are a big, big help, but sometimes it is inevitable to see heartbreaking events or negative news which may affect our day in a not so good way. So, it really helps that we take some time to put our phones down and to have full living awareness or mindfulness by just simply noticing the chirping of the birds, the swaying of the trees, and savoring the food that we eat. Staying away from our phones helps us to optimize our ability to just feel and live and be a hundred percent in the moment. It also helps us to think more clearly, to focus on our priorities on that day, to conserve our energy and even appreciate the little things, thus bringing out a positive effect to our body. So for the nth time, I'd like to remind you that I am no expert. These are just the things that work for me. And let's eat our way now to number two. Focus on what you can change and not on what you can't change. To be honest, this is also one of the things that I keep teaching myself to be better at. But with the help of self-help books, thank you so much for the great, great, great authors of these self-help books and motivational books, my mind is gradually being reprogrammed positively. And today I am so happy to share with you one of my go-to books whenever I am so affected by negative stimuli or maybe if there's no trigger, I am just feeling a little bit sad or under the weather. It is... Excuse me. Um, Richard Carlson's book, which is entitled Don't Sweat the Small Stuff. So, number 66 on the list found in this book is Think of what you have instead of what you want. So, being happy is highly related to being positive. And the good news is we can be both simultaneously by redirecting our thoughts to the positive pathway and not the other way around. Maybe some of us are frustrated or disappointed with the damage done by the pandemic, but I'd like to remind myself and also you that these things cannot be changed. But there's only one thing we can change, and that is our behavior or response towards the situation. I know that the evil intention of this virus to keep killing us is something that we cannot change, but I really, really do wish that it doesn't kill 
our hope. I lost my job and the bills keep running after me. What should I do? There is a lot, actually. You just have to put some effort. Job opportunities are swarming over the internet waiting for you and I. Also, you can put up a small business or ask a friend for advice. There are just so many opportunities. I know that it is easier said than done, but there are just so many ways that you can earn. I'm not for that position. I'm not even fitted for that job. Meg, you can't get a bright opportunity, you know? So, you can't get a job, you Your dismissal from a job cannot be changed. But, Lo and behold, you are able and capable of looking for another new job. So I made this one really quick. That's why we're down now to the last number, which is number three. <laughs> this one sounds mainstream, but this has already been proven to be effective. Number three is surround yourself with positive and happy people. Not the COVID-19 positive, okay? You know what I mean. Meg, sure ka? Basi mo na kaya? Bo, kabudlay mo na? Ano na kita iba nao? Pre, chicken lang na si mo, pre. Agi lang ko di magsuporta si mo. Yakang yaka mo na. Kau pa? Sos? Basta legal pre ha? So, if you were to choose between those two people, who would you want to be with? Mm-hmm. Yes, exactly. Most probably you would want to be with the latter. Whether you admit it or not, we would really want to be with positive or happy people because these people empower us, support us, would be there for us, right? These happy or empowering or positive people are not just limited to friends and family, but these can also be book authors, motivational speakers, online support groups or community, etc., etc., and so on. But just a friendly reminder. <laughs> no matter how often your friends and family empower you, if you refuse to welcome positivity, then most probably you'll be reaping negative results all the time. Yay! So it's almost consumed, you guys! And should it go? Excuse me. So to end this video together, you and I, let's breathe out negativity and breathe in positivity. Let us just keep fighting, you guys. We can do this. Padayun lang, bato, laban, mga Pilipino, kung mga ilunggo, at sa mga tao sa buong mundo. We can do this together. So, once again, this is your old friend, Hyrene, reminding you to stay sane, stay healthy, and... <laughs> Don't let the bad elves get you. So if you like this video or if you have learned something from this video, please do not forget to click the subscribe and the notification bell button so that you will get notified if ever I upload another annoying video again. And once again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching this video. And till my next video, tschüss, bye bye, paalam.